started was like, let's let's get this guy ready for that in the long run, you know. And from where he was at season four to where he is now, he's grown and evolved so much. And I love playing him, and I love doing that evolution and all those character arcs to bring him to where he is. And now I think he's ready. He's ready for love, baby. <laughs> Sherlock uh, kind of went Sherlock. away. Yes, we have our baby giraffe yeah. as the only detective in town. Or adult happen. giraffe, depending on, sometimes adult yeah, giraffe, depending yeah. Depending on the angle, baby. Yeah. <laughs> How is that going to change our behavior in any way? Yeah. Well, I think that's going to be, you know, there's going to be so many aspects of that that, that are really going to be what he brings to the team and what he pursues in the season. Yeah. Um, you know, finally getting to that point where, where he is the detective that he is in the comics and only going to progress throughout the season in that and become better and better at that. I mean, I've always said from, from day one, you know, that's kind of really his superpower. I know the stretchy thing and everything like that, but I think the deductive reasoning and the detective stuff, in the comics anyway, like that's really what his superpower is. I mean, he's supposed to be second only like that. Yeah, maybe. You know, he's supposed to be one of the, the most brilliant detective minds. And I like that we've taken a long time to cook that, and we're almost there. We're, we're there, and we're going to see a lot of that. We've already started with some of that. We're going to see a lot of that this year. I think it's only going to deepen further, you know, because I think... In some ways, I think they'll see eye to eye, or I think they'll, they'll find a lot of common ground there because you know, it was only a couple years ago that Ralph didn't have any powers and was a very different person. And now for Cisco to go back to life making that choice and still being a part of the team and everything like that, I think they'll find some common ground there. That was one of the things I really, really enjoyed last year was developing that Ralph and Cisco kind of friendship and bond and a little bit of a brotherhood there. Um, I thought that was really great stuff, so I'm excited to explore that a little more with him now that he does not have his powers, you know? What else? What else? What else? Is there a moment coming up in the next season that you're really excited for the fans to see? I mean, you know, the first thing that comes to mind, which I honestly don't know that much about, um, but my mind is imagining so many different scenarios, is crisis. I mean, that's like, all roads lead to crisis, and we've known that since last December or whatever it was. Um, and they've been talking about that, I think, for a couple of years, too, of doing that. What I do know about crisis is that, everybody says this, and it's not usually a thing, but this is true in this case, it's going to change the face of the way all of the Arrowverse shows are afterwards. It's really going to be kind of a um, not everything is going to be different after that. It's going to be it's, people saying, "Oh, it's going to be a big, huge, biggest." It is going to be the biggest one by far that has ever been done, and it's going to change the face of the way that this whole world works and all these different worlds work in an amazing way. Uh, I'm really excited for that. Your characters evolved a lot. Yeah. Is there anything in that evolution that's kind of surprised you? Well, no, the funny thing about that is the way that he is now is kind of the way that I originally saw him way back then. And I talked to them about that when I, when I was hired and when we talked about the role. So I was like, well, I feel like it's like this, this, this. And they were like, yeah, but let's start him here so we can play that out. So for me, you know, part of the way through season five into the end of season five, not beginning of season six, it feels like now I've gotten to where like I always saw him. But I had a lot of fun playing, you know, the jackass and playing that kind of like <laughs> overgrown boy aspect right. of him because those are the things we needed to do to get him ready to, to buy that he's this great tech, to buy that he could maybe in time have this romance with Sue and be ready for that, you know? So I've had a lot of fun doing that. And I and I love looking back on, you know, gosh, I remember an episode, you know, six of season four, like the stuff that I was doing, you know, and there's still elements of that. But you know, baby giraffe, adult giraffe, you know? He's yeah. grown up a little bit. <laughs> like it. Guys, last question. So, Alex, one of the things I liked about last season, getting to see more of uh, Ralph kind of soft and sex and the other members of the team, like Iris and Cisco, um, are there any kind of new and so notes that you see going into the season? Oh, gosh, what can I talk about <laughs> that we can see? Um, Ooh, I, uh, we are going to see... Okay, I, I haven't checked if I can talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit. It's not a huge, huge thing, but it's something that I, I've always liked. I always like Ralph and Joe West in the same room because Joe West was on the force when Ralph was a cop before all that stuff happened years and years ago. So he's known Ralph kind of longer than anybody. And, you know, he's the patriarch. He's Papa Bear, the whole thing, Papa Joe. And so I love the idea of having those two characters in the room. And I think that Joe West has always had an understanding and an empathy for 
Ralph, even from the first episode, that maybe not all of the characters had originally anyway. So there's going to be some of those scenes, and I love working with Jesse. I mean, like, I love Jesse L. Martin. He's a friend of mine, great guy. Welcome me with open arms when I started, and I'm just excited to do scenes with him. And we're going to see some more um, Ralph and Iris stuff, and some more Ralph and Cecile stuff, which I really, really like. I loved doing the Ralph and Cecile stuff last year. That was super fun, and, and I love doing the Ralph and Iris stuff. I mean, I, you know, it's great to do to combine these characters with some of these different characters. Super fun. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.